the size of the earth. And here you can tell that the objects make, almost, make most likely a full orbit of the sun and then boom, enters the sun approximately at 19.47 latitude, probably in the sunspot. And then this huge plasma ejection comes out. Let's take a look at it. Boom. The other thing is the objects don't break into pieces like comets would do. And so I was really amazed to find this video. And I thought, my God, you know, if you were a society that had ships the size of the earth, you wouldn't be able to go into any small black holes like the earth. It would be, your ship just would be too big for the <laughs> earth. So you'd go for the next fractal level of black holes, you'd go for the sun. But if you were using a smaller ship and you wanted to go through the black hole of the earth, then you would find that black hole by going through the sunspots of the earth. These sunspots would be the volcanoes you find on earth. And that's when I start to realize as well that volcanoes might not be what we think they are. Meaning that you know, for instance, the most active volcanoes on Earth are at 19.47 latitude. They're right where I live, on the island of, on the Big Island of Hawaii. And we find most volcanoes have a large amount of UFO activity. The volcanoes at 19.47 latitude in Mexico have so much UFO activity that the government, the Mexican government, has started to train pilots so that they know where the UFO activity is and they can avoid these routes when they're approaching Mexico City for landing. It's actually become mandatory that they follow that class if they are landing more than a certain percentage in Mexico City. Why? Because Mexicans typically sit on their porch at night and look at the UFOs coming in and out of volcanoes. That's how much activity there is. So I was thinking, well, if your ship, though, is the size of the Earth, then you'd have to go for the sun. And as I was thinking this, the music was playing in the background, and this was what played. And I thought that was very indicative. Want to hear it again? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Beam us up. Let it play. Crank it up. <laughs> Oh, 
How we could travel through the universe. The wormholes that uh, John Wheeler predicted, I believe, are actually visible. They are vortices on the surface of the sun that we call sunspots. And they're going directly through to singularity. The vortex we found on Jupiter, the big red spot, 19.47 latitude. The big volcanoes we found in our solar system, the largest volcanoes in our solar system, the Olympus uh, volcanoes on Mars, 19.47 latitude. Go ahead. On this video, do you know the time scale? Um, yeah, this is over, I think, a two day period. Yeah, I think it's about approximately two-day period, but I don't have the timer on it. So uh, I was, uh, you know, I was amazed, but uh, you know what? The sun right now is doing some crazy stuff. Have you all been going through some epic challenge in your life? <laughs> Um, don't take it personal. <laughs> There's a lot going on out there that actually makes it almost unbelievable that we're here. Unbelievable. Did you know that last winter a uh, comet almost twice the size of Jupiter flew through our solar system? Yeah, they didn't talk about that one. They released the data at the last minute. Let me pull it out for you, just so you see it. People don't know about this. Unbelievable. They didn't even talk about it on, the, on, uh, on TV. Uh, because they thought we were toast. <laughs> And they thought we were done. A planet, a, a comet twice the size of Jupiter is not trivial. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. An object twice the size of that is extremely massive. And there's no doubt that it should have disrupted many of the orbits in our solar system and created huge tidal wave on this planet. I don't know. Um, here it is. This is the video that was given by NASA about it. They didn't talk about it, they just put it on the net, on the solo site. And you know, basically, you were looking at, you know, the basic telemetry of the sun, and then all of a sudden, oh, what's that? <laughs> okay. This is called a V1 comet. And uh, you can see that this is not a trivial object. Look at the sun flare that goes at it and actually disrupted its path. And uh, this is the size of the sun, you guys. Okay? The sun is enormous. 
the, the earth looks like a little bitty dot beside the sun, right? This is a huge object flying right towards the sun, actually, and went around the sun. Astronomers thought it was going to hit the sun. That's why they thought we were toast. Uh, but it looks, and I'm not sure about this, I, 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 this is extremely difficult to get data on this. They won't talk about it much. But I think that it didn't hit the sun because 